गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम इन दिस क्लास दिस इज क्लास एट सब्जेक्ट सोशल साइंस एंड इट इज आर फर्स्ट लेक्चर ऑफ जोग्राफी चैप्टर वन रिसोर्स स्टूडेंट्स इन दिस चैप्टर वी आर गोइंग टू स्टडी अबाउट द टॉपिक्स लाइक मीनिंग ऑफ रिसोर्स बेसिस ऑफ रिसोर्स एंड टाइप्स ऑफ रिसोर्स सो लेट स्टार्ट द चैप्टर येस फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज देयर इन द चैप्टर लाइक वट डू यू मीन बाय रिसोर्स ये स्टूडेंट्स वी यूज मैनी थिंग्स इन आर डे टू डे लाइफ टू फुलफिल आर नीड्स लाइक एज ए स्टूडेंट्स यू यूज बुक्स पेन पेंसिल इरेजर बैग मैनी अदर्स आर देयर एंड दीज थिंग्स आर वेरी हेल्पफुल टू यू इन फुलफिलिंग ऑफ यूर नीड्स ये सुनो सो बेटा ऑल द थिंग्स विच वी यूज इन आर लाइफ टू सेटिस्फाई और टू फुलफिल आर नीड्स आर नोन एज रिसोर्स फॉर एग्जाम्पल बुक्स बुक्स आर द थिंग्स बट दीज बुक्स बिकम रिसोर्स फॉर अस वेन वी यूज दीज बुक्स टू स्टडी और टू गेन नॉलेज इन द सेम वे क्लोथ्स यूटेंसिल्स दीज थिंग्स आर ऑल्सो यूज बाय अस टू फुलफिल आर नीड्स सो दीज थिंग्स आर ऑल्सो रिसोर्स फॉर अस डॉक्टर्स टीचर्स दे प्रोवाइड अस देयर सर्विसेज एंड देयर सर्विसेज आर वेरी हेल्पफुल टू अस टू सेटिस्फाई आर नीड्स सो देयर एक्टिविटीज ऑल्सो एक्ट एज रिसोर्स फॉर अस सो स्टूडेंट्स रिसोर्स मीन्स एनी सब्सटेंस लिविंग थिंग or service which helps us in any possible way to satisfy our needs is a resource now question is there ki how does something become a resource so friends answer is utility utility means usability or utilization of anything so friends utility means as i told that utility means usability or utilization so means utility or usability is what makes an object or substance a resource what does it mean it means that when we use something then at that situation the thing becomes a resource for us so here i can give one example to you to make you understand suppose i am taking the example of pen pen is very common thing and used by most of the people but beta pen is not a resource for those people who do not know how to use pen or how to write with the pen so for those people the pen is only a substance so means when we use something so in that situation the things are resources for us but when we don't use then the things remain only substances so understood means utility or utilization of anything makes an object or substance a resource next is their value value means worth means the worth of a substance assessed on the basis of utility what does it means means the uh, means the substances have value a resource has some value means the value can be associated with money or just mental satisfaction what does it mean it means means some resources have economic value some do not so means the things for that we have to pay something when we purchase or get it means these things have economic value but the things like beautiful scenery landscape so this type of things also have some utility and they give us joy peace mental satisfaction so these things have aesthetic value so understood yes student next factor is time and technology yes time and technology are also important factors that can change substances into resources yes here i also can give one example i am taking the example of water water is our basic needs and it is a resource for everyone but beta if we talk about few years back 
एट दैट टाइम द वोटर वॉज रिसोर्स जस्ट टू फुलफिल द बेसिक नीड्स ऑफ लाइक ड्रिंकिंग फॉर बाथिंग फॉर वॉशिंग ओनली फॉर दिस डेली एक्टिविटीज बट विद द पासिस ऑफ टाइम टेक्नोलॉजी डेवलप्ड एंड नाउ वॉटर बिकेम अ रिसोर्स इन अ न्यू वे ये सुनो मीन्स एट दैट टाइम ऑल्सो वॉटर वॉज ए रिसोर्स बट एट दैट टाइम वॉटर वॉज अ रिसोर्स टू जस्ट फुलफिल द बेसिक नीड्स बट नाउ इट इज विद द पासिस ऑफ टाइम एंड विद द हेल्प ऑफ टेक्नोलॉजी नाउ वॉटर बिकेम ए रिसोर्स इन अ न्यू वे एज इट इज यूज टू प्रोड्यूस हाइड्रो इलेक्ट्रिसिटी तो अंडरस्टूड सो टाइम ऑल्सो द मेन फैक्टर विच कैन कन्वर्ट एनी सब्सटेंस इन टू अ रिसोर्स ये नेक्स्ट नाउ वी विल स्टडी अबाउट द टाइप्स ऑफ रिसोर्सिस ये रिसोर्सिस आर क्लासिफाइड इन टू थ्री मेन कैटेगरीज नेचुरल रिसोर्सिस मैन मेड रिसोर्सिस एंड ह्यूमन रिसोर्सिस नाउ वी विल रीड अबाउट ऑल दिज रिसोर्सिस इन डिटेल सो फर्स्ट इज नेचुरल रिसोर्सिस रिसोर्सिस that are taken from nature and used without much modification what does it means means the things which are given or gifted us by nature and some things which we are used in the same way in in which they are given or provided by nature but some things we use after a little modifications for example air water soil ki all these things are given us by nature and all these things are also very important to satisfy our needs so these things are known as natural resources next is there that is man made resources means the resources which are not given us by nature but they are made by human beings by using natural resources for example buildings dams roads all these things are made by human beings for their use so all these things are known as human made resources or man made resources next one is there that is human resources human resources with most of the students get confused in man made resources and human resources a common difference between these resources is there that man made resources means the things which are made by human being and human resources means the people themselves human being themselves human resources means uh, refer the quantity and quality of people what does it mean it means the people of a country must more in number but they must have skilled healthy and educated because only skilled healthy and educated people can contribute in the development of nation so human resources means skilled healthy educated people of a country are known as its human resources now so beta we have read about three types of resources natural man made and human out of these human resources are considered as a special resource or the most important resources why as people can make best use of natural resources to create more resources it means people are the only who can convert the natural resources into useful products with their intelligence yes or no they can modify the things according to their needs here already i have given you example of water yes or no ki in early time the water was used to just fulfill the basic needs but now water is used to produce hydroelectricity also along with fulfilling of the basic needs they can contribute in the development of their nations so that's why the human resources are considered the most important resources to understood students now i will give you some homework on the basis of topics which i have explained to you so now no down homework yes so today's homework is there that you have to do three questions first is there define the term resources which already i have explained to you describe how resources are classified as i told you three types of resources natural man made and human resources and why are human resources important so this is your homework thank you